Hi guys, welcome back to YouTube channel Chemistry Live UGPG. Today we are going to talk about atomic structure, CC1 paper, G1 paper, unit 1, lecture 2. So this will be highly beneficial for BSc chemistry students under CBCS syllabus. So I have a simple message for you guys. Please think for innovation, be creative, learn everywhere, anytime and help to learn others. So this is the syllabus for CC1 paper for BSc honor students and G1 paper for generic students. So today we are going to talk about de Broglie equation and Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and its significance. So first let's discuss de Broglie equation. So de Broglie suggested that electrons, protons, neutrons and atoms etc. So that means matter has both particle and wave or dual characteristics. So according to Einstein, E equal to mc square, that we know. And according to Planck, E equal to h nu. So now combining equation 1 and 2, so h nu that is equal to hc upon lambda. So that means mc square equal to hc upon lambda or we can now cancel cc. So lambda becomes h upon mc. And for a moving particle with velocity v, so lambda becomes h upon mv. So that is equal to h upon p. So that is called momentum. So lambda is directly pro uh, inversely proportional to the p momentum. And this is applicable for microscopic particles. So where lambda corresponds to wave character, that is de Broglie wavelength, and p corresponds to particle character. So what is its limitation? For larger particles, lambda is too small to be measured. Second, for electrons have a wave character. Moving with velocity b is accelerated by a potential difference v volt. So kinetic energy equal to half mv square that is in eV. And so here v equal to 2 eV upon m square root. So b is less less than the c that is speed of light. Do we know lambda equal to h upon mv? So that is equal to h upon m into 2eb upon m square root. So that we can find out as h upon square root 2meb. That is equal to h upon 2mke square root. So equation 4 suggests that every particle can be considered to have with an associated wavelength and wave properties. So in 1924, de Broglie Lewis suggested that if radiation which originally a wave can behave as a particle, then small objects like electron which definitely are particle like character behave as waves. So his statement although sounded unconvincing initially was indeed proved to be true experimentally in later years. So this was proved by Davison Germer experiment. So what he did, Davison Germer used electron beam instead of X-rays and found that an electron beam accelerated through a potential difference about 100 volt behaves like X-rays and gives the same diffraction pattern for nickel crystal. So using this Einstein's concept, an equation identical to that for photon can be used for very small micro particles. So that is a lambda equal to h upon p. That is lambda equal to wavelength of a matter wave. So let's do some problems. So calculate the de Broglie wavelength of an electron traveling with a speed equal to 10% of the speed of light. So we know speed of light c equal to 3 into 10 over 8 meter per second. So speed of electron will be 10% of light. So that is t into 10 over 8 into 10% that is 3 into 10 over 7 meter per second. And we know lambda equal to h upon mv. So h we know already 6.62 into 10 over minus 34 joule second divided by mass of electron that is 9.1 into 10 over minus 31 kg. And velocity here is 3 into 10 to the 7 meter per second. So which is upon solving which is found to be 2.43 into 10 to the minus 11 meter. Similarly calculate the momentum of a particle which has de Broglie wavelength of 0.1 nanometer. 
वी नो लैमडा इक्वल टू एच अपन पी और पी इक्वल टू एच अपन लैमडा तो सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स टू इंटू टेन डर माइनस थर्टी फोर जूल सेकेंड डिवाइडेड बाई लैमडा इज जीरो पॉइंट वन इंटू टेन डर माइनस नाइन मीटर तो विच इज फाउंड टू बी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स टू इंटू टेन डर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर के जी मीटर पर सेकेंड सिमिलरली अनदर प्रॉब्लम कैलकुलेट द लिनियर मूवमेंट ऑफ अ फोटोन ऑफ वेबलैंड सेवेन फिफ्टी नैनोमीटर वर्ड स्पीड डज एन इलेक्ट्रॉन नीड टू ट्रावल टू हाव सेम लिनियर मूवमेंट ऑफ सो इन लैमडा इक्वल टू एच अपन पी सो दैट इज सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स टू इंटू टेन माइनस थर्टी फोर जूल सेकेंड डिवाइडेड बाई पी दैट इज लिनियर मूवमेंट ऑफ दैट इज इक्वल टू सेवेन फिफ्टी इंटू टेन डर माइनस नाइन मीटर सो दैट बिकम्स टू बी एट पॉइंट एट थ्री इंटू टेन डर माइनस ट्वेंटी एट के जी मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड पी इक्वल टू एम ई इंटू बी सो वी इक्वल टू पी बाय एम ई सो बी फाउंड टू बी जीरो पॉइंट नाइन सेवेन इंटू टेन डर थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड नेक्स्ट इज हाइजन बर्स अनसर्टेंटी प्रिंसिपल so the principle says that it is a fundamental law of nature it states that it is impossible to specify correctly two variables of a conjugate pair simultaneously for example angle and angular momentum position and momentum time and energy so the definition of heisenberg's uncertainty principle is it is impossible to determine simultaneously the position and momentum of a electron with any desired accuracy So mathematically we can write delta p into delta x greater than equal to h upon four pi. So delta p equal to m into delta p into x. So that is greater than equal to h upon four pi. So delta p into delta x greater than equal to h upon four pi m. So let's try some problems. So calculate the uncertainty product for a moving ball of cricket weighing five hundred gram. So delta b into delta x greater than equal to h upon four pi m. So delta b into delta x. This is the uncertainty product greater than equal to h value we know six point six two into ten to the minus twenty seven divided by four into pi value is three point one four and mass is five hundred gram. So that is of the order found to be ten to the minus thirty. So which is very less. So for larger objects. Like five hundred gram micro particles, micro molecules, the uncertainty of measurements is practically nil, or which is very very less. The next, calculate the uncertainty product for a moving electron of mass nine point one into ten to the minus twenty eight gram. So we know delta b into delta x greater than equal to four h upon four pi m. So delta b into delta x will be greater than equal to six point six two into ten to the minus twenty seven. That is Planck's constant divided by four into three point one four pi value, and mass of electron is nine point one into ten to the minus twenty eight. So which is found to be zero point six. So zero point six is greater greater than the mass of electron. So hence it is not negligible. You cannot neglect. The next question: Calculate the minimum uncertainty in the speed of a ball of mass 500 gram that is known to be within one micrometer of a certain point on a bat. So mass given 500 gram that is 0.5 kg and delta x equal to 1.0 into 10 to the minus 6 meter. So delta b into delta x equal to greater than equal to h upon 4 pi m. So delta b Will be h upon four pi m into delta x. So if we put the value of pi m and delta x, so it is found to be one point zero five into ten to the minus twenty eight meter per second. So in conclusion, so quantum particles have the following features. So they have discrete energy state. They can behave both as particle and wave. That means they possess dual character, and they will obey both de Broglie. And Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Please subscribe to our channel Chemistry Live UGPG. So this is also available in the website www. chemistry live ugpg. com. For class eleventh and twelfth, Foundation Chemistry AV. Foundation Chemistry AV is the channel. 
so this is a simple step towards e-learning making life better thank you all for learning